me. You know, I'm only the manager. It's only my job that will be lost. No, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be okay. You can drive off to your next gig. It's not so easy for me with this family of Filipino children, a brothel to run. You enjoy yourself, you know. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I'm out great. I'm out of a job. Great. Ha ha I'm out of a job. Great. You know, the new owner sees that he'll say, where's the cunt? Welcome to the rebellious jukebox. You must be the new owner. Oh, you want me to wash it and all? Oh, hell yeah, give it to work. <laughs> Electricity on the way over. You all right? Perfect. Okay, sir. Please don't worry about me at all. Um, I, sir, and Richard Dido, your manager of your club entirely at your service. You okay if I call you Dicky? Please do, sir. <laughs> well then, Dicky, how are you doing, boy? I manage, sir. What do you think of your club? Look. Well, it's a different. I never owned anything quite like this before. I did own a set of golf clubs once, though. The golf club, sir? Yeah, I owned the uh, Kansas City Golf Club, Miami Golf Club, and the Three Mile Island Golf Club. I didn't play there much, though. Hey, Dickie, can you answer me a question? What do I pay you for? Well, you know, a man does have to eat, sir. Let's face it. No, I don't mean that. I mean, is this club happening? Are you cost-effective? Are you boilerplate, son? I, sir, if I may say so, am indispensable. Without me, sir, this club, if I may use this parallel, would be like a ship without a rudder, would be floundering in the stormy sea of life to be crashed horribly and violently on the rocks of the creditors and all the other hungry sharks and surly bastards which hang around here every evening. You mean I pay you to go sailing? I know, I speak metaphorically, sir. Metaphorically. No, no, son, you speak through the back of your neck. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <my> neck. <laughs> What's the sense of humor you have, if I may say, sir? You're fitting very well, indeed. My rebellious jukebox. Cramps, how you doing? Listen, I just thought of something that might work as a movie. Listen, we're going to open up on a dollar shot. Then we're gonna track in and we can pull focus on the aspirant, and then we get a nice close up on a Lumar, right? And then we're just gonna follow this guy around all day long as he talks through the back of his neck. What do you think? Ronald Reagan beat us to it, huh? I thought he only did Bonzo Goes to Washington movies, Cram. I didn't realize you were into movies, huh? Movies? Dickie? Movies is my life, Dickie. Some people see faces and clouds, and some people see clouds and faces. Dicky, I just see movies. Everything I see, I see movies. Good evening, sir. May I get you a Oh, not for me, thanks. I never touch stuff. Gives me cinema scope. Turn around. Hey! Uh, so, uh, you like, you like movies, huh? Yeah, I like movies, and who in the hell are you, son? Bubba. Bubba what? <laughs> Bubba Zeke Rosenberg. Glad to meet you, Bubba. And Bubba, listen to this, boy. I am movies. Some people see faces in clouds. And some people see clouds and faces. Up there, Bubba, you gotta get the motivation, son. But I just see movies everywhere I look and in everything I see. Movies. Man, you see movies in everything? Everything. 
movies is bucks, and bucks is movies. And in movies, you can make bucks, and you got to go out there and grab for it. you got to take the steer by the horn. you got to take the pig by the tail. Son, you only go around once in life, and you got to grab for the guts in your do you think there might be a movie in May? No. Hey, you like movies? Nah. Aren't you gonna ask me if I like movies? Hey. I am movies, boy! Some people see spots in front of their eyes, some people see eyes in front of their spots, but me, I see movies! Well, tell me what movie you see in this. Close Encounters? Scar Scarface? It's not Bambi, right? Bambi? <coughs> hey, you're the new owner, right? And you're from Texas. That's right, Bubba. I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas, too. I'm going. Where about you from? Where about you from? I'm from Dallas. I'm from Dallas. No, go on, Bubba. Yes, oh, on. brother. Whoa. Well, which street you from? Which street are you from? I'm from Alamo Avenue. I'm from Alamo Avenue. No, go on. No. Are you from the north side? Yeah, I'm from north side. I'm from the north oh, side. Too. <laughs> I can tell by your accent. You yep. got a you got a north side of Alamo Avenue accent. Around number 146. 13. Oh, you were so close. 13. <laughs> what the hell is in a number anyway? I don't know. Shakespeare said that. Who? Shakespeare. Oh, he was a writer. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Uh, you, you, do you remember David Crockett's drugstore? Do I? Do I remember David Crockett's yeah, dad door? David Crockett's drug <laughs> door. No, I oh. don't. No, well, you can't remember everything. Do you remember Hunch Miller? Hunch Miller was... That's the one. That's him. Is he getting to Shakespeare? No. Oh, Hunch Miller. No. Hunch Miller. Him. He died last week, the poor son of a bitch. Yeah, he got run over by a model train. Yeah, it was the damnedest thing I ever seen. He fell asleep on the line. The little boy started up the train, and the train goes in through one ear, does a lot of damage right in the middle, and it comes right out the other side and makes a big double O gauge hole right through his brain. It's the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life. Poor, poor, poor hunch. Yeah. <laughs> You've got good stories, but I love you! Come on. Hey, Slim. Bubba, you don't look too good. I don't feel too good. I think it must have been something I ate. Anyone I know? <laughs> Bubba, you are depressed, boy. Well, I Bubba, I know just thank you, Bubba. Let me buy you a video. What? Yeah, let me buy you a video, okay? We up here. Come on, Ludo, get the video jukebox. Thank you, Slim. Oh, that's all right. You want to make a selection? It's just my choice. Well, whatever you like, I'll like. All right, all right. Here we go.